So could you tell me what you wanted to do with this piece precisely? Uh, this is called uh, chroma. And chroma means the colors. And uh, in this piece, especially, you can see a lot of kinetic movement. And this movement bring the different of the colors patterns. And these patterns come from uh, different layer of the uh, silicon mold. And it has a through kinetic mechanic, it uh, changes the form and structure of the uh, atomic level. Then it uh, colors, uh, it writes through differently like a uh, prism spectrum. So you can see different colors of the, this piece. But this piece is especially, I made a note, note. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is purely uh, mathematically generated. And then after I construct this kind of shape and, and so on. But the Knod is not only uh, interested in, not only uh, as a mathematic, it is also very important meaning. Also every culture has a Knod, has a um, not has a different meaning. So like uh, Knod is uh, sometimes interpreted as a spiral, uh, uh, vortex and so on, but uh, it is show, um, the title of this show is Zaya. Zaya means uh, also the spi spiral motion of the things, make some happening and this kind of geometry to make more living and so on. So, um, so this piece, I really try to make uh, this abstract number to bring to real world, then making breath. And make it what? Breath, 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 breath. Ah, yeah, yeah. okay. So it's like machine transforming being? Yeah, it is kind of machine. Uh, it is kind of machine and uh, so you need a lot of engineering things to realize, but uh, uh, you can really enjoy the curve, a lot of uh, these entangled curves and so on. But you think there's an aesthetic of the machine? Huh? There's an aesthetic of the machine? Yeah, it's of technology? Also, yeah, it, it is also important the how machine, uh, if you design the machine, machine needs a special function and needs a special form and special thickness and special material. It, uh, it is uh, consists of a lot of entangled uh, materials and ideas and abstract and so on. Yeah. But uh, is there, is there um, a kind of philosophical meaning about it? Uh, yes, because uh, uh, it is. Uh, I explained about note. Uh, about what? Not, not. Yes. So note has uh, always a big uh, inspiration for scientists or the artists. So, for example, uh, William Thompson. He is a uh, very important uh, scientist and he thought that uh, the cosmos is consist of a uh, knot and spiral and he be really believed that uh, and also he re researched to uh, find the world is a uh, consist of a spiral but uh, it is not true after all the scientists uh, proved that the world well, the smallest uh, uh, element is uh, atom. Oh, okay. But uh, it, it is not Kuno. But uh, his research during to uh, uh, researching the note, and he brings a lot of uh, new dimension. And, and now uh, people uh, still, it is very speculative, but uh, if you walk in with the note, then suddenly you have a totally thinking about dimensions. And, and so, what, is, what is your background? Uh, Do you actually, come from technology or from no, art? I, I, I'm a musician, I'm a composer. I studied music. Ah. Yeah, then uh, therefore I make a, maybe I make a kinetic work because if you uh, if you're a musician, musician is but all... But there's no music here. Yeah, no music, but uh, it has a lot of event and movement and time, feeling. Uh, yeah, yeah, therefore... Uh, so you're working with time? 
Yeah, working with the time-based uh, artwork and also uh, if you if you alone in this space, you can hear the lot of noise of the uh, sound. It is a kind of I can I, say. I a, hope I will be able to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Merci beaucoup, Kamsamida. Kamsamida. <laughs>